Wait, keep it up and I'll turn that into a Alvin and the Chipmunks sound. Huh? You're listening to That Gets My Goat. Hi, everybody. It's Big Anklevich. And this is Rish Outfield. Welcome to That Gets My Goat. So Rish we... is about to get my goat, I believe. Am I? Uh, Snape kills Dumbledore. Oh, it's gotten. I, uh, I, yeah, I just thought that we were planning to talk about Cars 2 and we never had a chance. Oh, right. We talked about Green Lantern for a long time. <laughs> and I figured that was next on our list. It was, okay. was Cars 2. But... I haven't seen it yet. That was the one we were going to see together, but it was your anniversary. Is that right? Yeah. And then you didn't end up doing anything that night anyway. <laughs> right? Am I, am I misremembering? <laughs> it was a long time ago, by the way. But yeah, I, I saw Cars 2. And th- this is something we've I probably talked about seven times on our various shows before. But people so want Pixar to fail. They so want <laughs> Pixar to put out a bad movie. And, you know, I guess I kind of understand, you know, if you lived in L.A. or you lived in New York during that period when the Bulls, the Chicago Bulls were number one and they had Jordan and all that. And you ached for Jordan to be taken down. And, oh, I hate that he sticks out his tongue and I hate that he dunks and I hate that people love him. And I hate that he's with the Looney Tunes and commercials. Oh, I and want him to friggin' and... die. That's how I feel people are about Pixar. Mm-hmm. But most of these people don't work for DreamWorks or Fox Animation Studios. You know, they don't have a vested interest in having their competition fail. Mm -hmm. It's just they're fans. They're fans of DreamWorks, right? Oh, and that's that's what it takes. Fans of the the Lakers would want the Bulls to lose, right? Okay, I guess I just uh, all right. You're you're right because it's not it's not a player. It's not Manute Bull hoping that 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 Michael Jordan fails. (laughs) Who is Manute Bull? I want you to tell me right now. I just how, wanted to make it sound like I knew what I was talking about. I named, how tall is Manute Bull? Oh, he's easily 5'10 or taller. <laughs> um, so what country is Manute Bull from? He is from Africa somewhere. Yes, you're actually right. Good uh, job. The, the buzz before Toy Story 3 came out was, okay, this time they've sold out. This time. This time they're going to make a crappy movie. You'll see. I'll get you, Pixar. And oh. Little dog, too. And Toy Story 3 was great. Record-settingly great. So here came Cars 2. And it's like, oh, Cars 2 is going to blow. And you could tell, you know, these people were actually sexually aroused at the idea of a Pixar movie not being good. Really? And so when it came out, yeah, it was like that... Uh, explosion so to speak <laughs> and people just were exultant about it yes yes cars too yes <laughs> oh i'm spent so i so i had heard this long before i saw the movie right and i went and saw the movie and it doesn't blow still better than shrek but yeah i just i it wasn't great and 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 it's the first one that Pixar is made to be certified not fresh on Rotten Tomatoes, unfortunately. Even Cars 1 made it to 70-something percent positive reviews, and that's the lowest that they'd had up until then. All the rest of them had been in the 90s, I believe. But, uh, yeah, Cars 2 is 25% or something. It's really bad. That's rough. The detractors were saying, you know, this was the first Pixar movie that was obviously just a cash grab Uh you know it was made to sell toys it was made to put faces on t-shirts and 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 have tons of products and toys in in happy meals and things like that but that's what all the other studios do every movie i right I don't get it. I think you forwarded me an article where john lassiter was talking about the marketing of cars one and how if they hadn't made so much money off Cars toys, they wouldn't have been able to make a Ratatouille or an Up or a Wally that aren't toy centric. Mm-hmm. So I was just like, okay, well that justifies it, man. Mm-hmm. I don't know why. I mean, Madagascar Two or whatever that doesn't even have the toy tie-in to justify it. <laughs> Over the Hedge Two, it's just some people somewhere liked the first one. So we're making a sequel. I mean, that's what Disney used to do with their direct-to-video yeah. animated films. And nothing was sacred there, Yeah, as far as I, I know. I mean, they made a Bambi 2. 
Uh, <laughs> Snow White may be the only one. They didn't make a Snow White 2. They made a Cinderella 2, which was... Yeah, they made a Cinderella 3 with time travel. Yeah. Yeah. Like went back in time and changed it around, and and that looked real good to me. <laughs> but the worst part was Cinderella went back in time, and her stepmother fell in love with her, and she had to get the DeLorean to f- fix all that. It was trouble. She kept going and saying, and she called her Calvin. Sick bastard. <laughs> Uh, but you haven't seen Cars 2, I so haven't. I shouldn't be talking about yeah, it. Yeah, we probably don't want to go into too much detail. But I it's think... been... When we're recording this, it's been a month. I know. And so... I, I think the Rotten Tomatoes score has actually swayed me. You'd think I'd be a bigger fan than that, I guess. But seeing that it's all the way down there at 25 or whatever percent, I think, oh, this is the one that I'm finally going to be disappointed with. I'm... I'm delaying that inevitable disappointment or at least what i think is the inevitable just maybe i won't be disappointed maybe i'll enjoy it but i'm just afraid that i will come out of there and be all oh it finally happened because i'm such a big fan of pixar that i don't want to i'm the opposite They're 10 of those. for 10 right now and you want to keep yeah, it perfect i'm the opposite of that person who's gonna have that explosion of rage and joy at this being uh bad and i'm just the person who's going to be completely and utterly depressed by it and so i'm kind of afraid to go and see it and i figured it's interesting because there's a theater in town now that i've never been to you haven't been to it oh there's this theater in town it's it's now an intermediate theater there's the full price theater and there's what once was a dollar theater but now is more like the two dollar theater and now we have this theater that shows the movies that are in between they've kind of fallen off the map on the first run theaters but they haven't made it all the way down to the dollar theaters they have the in between movies and they cost like 375 or 350 or something for a ticket i don't know what it is and cars 2 is there now it isn't there but i'm sh- well it might be. i haven't checked actually but i'm i'm guessing especially considering summertime you know there are one or two or three movies a week that are being released that first run theaters can only have these films on you know in their screens for so long before they got to kick them off to free up 10 screens to show harry potter or 15 screens to show transformers or whatever so uh, i figure it can't be too much longer before i I can see it and i would guess before the summer is out we can at least do a uh, episode where we talk about uh, ours too okay well yeah, there was stuff I wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about the short. I wanted to talk about recasting a character and killing another one. So we won't talk anything about that. Uh, in fact, maybe we just cut our episode short, call this good. Unless there's anything else that you do want to talk about before we go on to the next <laughs> subject. Um, I, I wanted to talk about a movie that I'm really excited to see. See, I saw the trailer for it. Okay. It's a computer animated movie. All right. Yeah, that sounds good. And it's uh, Happy Feet 2. <laughs> <laughs> oh dude why i'm <laughs> just kidding man like, you know how much i hate happy feet one what did you see that attached to because you saw it before i did i saw it attached to rango are you kidding me at the i saw rango at the dollar theater i guess they just showed all the computer animated trailers they had because they showed several that i'd already seen uh i'm trying to think what they all were though delgo Delgo. Battle for Terra. Yeah. Uh, what was the one that <laughs> no parent that loved their child would take? Uh, it was the one about the dog. What was the dog's name? It started with name? a D. I never saw it. Neither did I. Gosh, I can't think of what they did have, though. They didn't have... I don't think they had one for Rio. They may have had Nomeo and Juliet as the other, one of the other trailers. And, but yeah, I mean, the first two trailers were ones that were either in the Dollar Theater already or were about to get there and then all of a sudden there was one for happy feet too and i thought that's weird that doesn't even come out in the regular theaters yet usually you get the trailers well after they're already old when you see them in the dollar theater but um but yeah had it at at the dollar theater um attached to rango i'm sorry man rango would otherwise be worth seeing (laughs) yeah really I, i wasn't able to enjoy anything after that i wouldn't think so it's funny you and i are on the same page here i think Because generally every year there will be a trailer that I just hate, that bothers me so much. And I'm not exaggerating. 
I will plug my ears and go ay 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 during this trailer because <laughs> it'll have like a song or it'll have you know something inane that gets into my head and just makes me want to kill. <laughs> makes me want to kill young girls on a college campus, and we don't need that. That happens a lot in America, and so uh, yeah. If stop making trailers like that. It wouldn't happen so much. I know. Yeah. The, the media was to blame. Weird. <laughs> I don't know. It had been, I guess, two or three months or something, and I had forgotten that I had this proclivity toward murder. <laughs> and then I saw, and it, for me, it was at the beginning of Harry Potter 8. Ooh, that's rough. And, oh, dude, I, I hated that trailer so, so much. <laughs> uh, I remember hating two years ago... I, uh, the Confessions of a Shopaholic trailer. Uh huh. You loved that movie, though. Admit it. I did not. You cried. Okay, it I was did so cry. great. But I don't know. I, 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 there was one in the last year or something, and I can't remember what it was. But you know, as much as I find the Transformers movies to be worthless, I didn't feel that way for the Transformers trailers. Uh-huh. I just I felt insulted and. One of those Annie Wilkes moments where you want to stand up in the theater and say, have all of you gone insane? What is wrong with you people? You know, I want to shout it. Just the the CG penguins singing pop songs. No plot at all. Just singing and dancing in cute, sped up voices. I swear to fudge and Thor, that is all there was from beginning to end of that trailer. Am I wrong? You're right. There was nothing. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Then there was a Pratt fall where a seal knocked over the logo and then went, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I take it back. There was actual plot to this trailer. It's not plot. <laughs> but oh my, I, I just, I, I mourn for the friggin' planet, dude. Which I believe is sort of a subplot of these whole crappy feet movies. It is, yeah. They saved the planet by dancing. Because they danced, that meant that the oceans were being overfished. <laughs> That's how they figured it out, as they saw that... I wish you were shitting me, <laughs> sir. <laughs> they saw the penguin dancing in the zoo, and they said, oh, why is he dancing? And then they figured out the oceans are being overfished and they made laws and then the oceans were fine. Yeah, that's what it was. That's what it took. Well, it was like that. Do you remember when Disney was trying to make the animated shorts again and they made that goofy short that was all about how there were no weapons of mass destruction? This was very much... I'm sorry I couldn't do it with a straight face. I apologize. Well, look... I know that millions of people liked the first Happy Feet. It was the best picture. And I've had people grab me by the scrotum and say, better than Wally, man, better than Star Wars, better than sex. And I guess to each their own, I guess you're entitled to, if, if you felt something from a movie, I can't say, hey, you didn't feel that way. But it, I, it's one of those with, with Crappy Feet 2, seeing that trailer... You have to know you're being manipulated. You have to know that you're standing in ankle deep shit. You you pretend that it smells like carnations. Shin deep. Shin deep. Is Not bad. ankle deep. Okay. It's deeper than ankles. It's, it's like you know how some people on their knees they have like the kneecap and then at the bottom there's like that little knob. You are. It's it's about that deep. It comes to the bottom of the knob on your knee. And you know what, folks? We have come to the bottom of the knob <laughs> as well. Uh, I hope this doesn't offend everybody that loves crappy feet, but <laughs> I don't care. It's just that uh, the hate is flowing through you. There, there was a girl. Now, now, almost the entire audience for Harry Potter eight that I went to with were twenty somethings or teenagers, mm-hmm. and there was a girl, uh, C cup, age <laughs> two rows behind me, that so. said, "That looks so good." At the end of the trailer. And I just was like, what, what are you talking about? All they did was sing. How does that look good? What did they show you? Uh, imagine if the trailer for Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom had just had Willie Scott singing Anything Goes. How does that look good? I don't... <laughs> what? 
I, I'm, I'm having an aneurysm <laughs> as we speak. Blood flowing out his nose. My God. Did you have this visceral reaction when you saw it? I did, yeah. It, it, it's funny because... I saw it with all my family around me. My kids were there next to me, and a couple seats down was my wife. And yeah, it got to the end. <laughs> and it said, Happy Feet. And there was the pratfall and the seal and all the whole bit. And then I just went, Oh, really loud. And I could hear my wife just giggling over there because she already knew that that would be something that would hit a nerve on me <laughs> remind me to put scary drone into this whole conversation <laughs> now last year we had the alvin and the chipmunks sequel the cheap cool the the, the squeak cool the fuck will yeah squeak will and there was a part where the chipette sang if you like it you should have put a ring on it if it sing it with me and we'll speed it up so it sounds like chipmunks yeah. wait we have to sing it real slow though if you like it, then you should have put a ring on it and I was just like, oh, dude. See, I use the word crass a lot because before last year, I didn't know what that word meant. Really? But as soon as I found out what it meant, it was like, oh, Marty, you got to come back with me. Great, Scott. Now I know how to describe all this crap. And, and crass is the perfect word for that. It's just like an underhanded, cheap method of manipulating somebody or getting their money. You know what I mean? It's just like, this is a popular song. And we're going to have a bunch of cartoon characters do it. And a bunch of kids are going to learn it from that. Mm -hmm. Like the end scene of every single DreamWorks animation studio film. And they found out it worked with Shrek. And now they've done it again and again and again. And the knockoffs are doing it. And other people are doing it. And just, just to have the entire trailer be that. It's like it used to just be the stinger at the end of your movie that had a plot. And now it's like, no, let's market our whole ad campaign around this. <laughs> I'm bringing sexy back. Let's have a bunch of little penguins oh, sing that. What in the crap was that? I mean, could they not have picked at least a better song? That takes, should have put a ring on it and took it uh, several levels lower. I and mean, seriously, why? Why would anyone even think that was cute? Little baby penguins. These aren't like penguins. These are little babies. It's like having little kittens. It's like having a bunch of children in diapers going, I'm bringing sexy back. Watch me take this diaper off. Isn't that hot? You know, it's... Well, now, now I got to interrupt you because Disney did so wrong. do this in 1989. I don't know if you guys know, but there was a deleted song. Flounder had a song in Little Mermaid where he sang Smack My Bitch Up. And I guess Katzenberg or whoever was in charge decided the movie was running long. So decided that that wasn't going to work. Is there a better? Because I nearly said fuck the police, but I thought Smack My Bitch Up would be more amusing. What do you think? Uh, that's probably good. Okay. Was that a song in 1989, though? No. No, it was Smack My Bitch Up. No, F the Police F the Police was, was. around. That's yeah. why I'm saying. You could have said uh, Boys and the Hood. I thought about that, but it's, the title itself isn't vulgar enough. Yeah. And so, so you Did know, the you president has shit? been... Yes. That, you know, I should have done that. <laughs> well, hindsight, folks. All right. Well, we've been going a long time. Yeah, you know, I could probably split to. this into two, but I'm not going to. Folks, if you haven't rage quit, that gets my goat tonight. <laughs> uh, I appreciate you listening all the way to the end. If you're not listening, however, you deserve exactly what you get with Happy Feet 2, folks. Oscar nominated. Oscar winning. <laughs> Oscar. Well, I don't think Cars 2 is going to win at this. Best year. animated feature. Do you think it's possible Cars 2 won't even get nominated for Best Picture? It's possible, yeah. Best animated feature of that year was Happy Feet. It won over Cars 1, if I remember right. Okay. I guess that's life. What would you say was the best animated film you've seen this year so far? Oh, I would say it was Tangled, but that was released last year, although I didn't see it until this year. Dude, what else have I seen? I saw Rango. I saw... What else is there? I didn't see Rio. Did you see Hoodwinked 2, Hood versus <laughs> Evil? You know... I think they had a trailer for that before Rango as well. That's how lovely my trailer experience was on the way into Rango. I got to see Hoodwinked 2 and Happy Feet 2. What about Mars Needs Mom? Is uh, anyone? The, the movie that sank an animation studio? Shoot, what else was there? There was no Mio. There was Rio. Okay, I didn't see either of those. There was Kung Fu Panda 2. 
haven't seen that one yet either, but I wouldn't be surprised if that one wins. A lot of people say Kung Fu Panda 1 was robbed. I don't know what it was. it the same year as Wally? It was Wally, yeah. Uh, it wasn't robbed then, but no. but it was actually good, I have to admit. I did see it, and it was a good film. It's one of those many films where the animals play people. and But there are also people in their world? No, luckily no. That's Rango, though. Okay. Rango kind of upset me for that reason. I watched that and I thought, okay, wait. He starts out the movie inside an aquarium, oh, falls out of a man. car, and then goes off into the desert and... Comes to a town that's there, animal There's size. a town with wood buildings and everything that these animals apparently have built. What the hell? That kind of stuff bugs me. You know, you got to pick one or the other. You can't do both. Cars kind of bugs me a little bit, to tell you the truth, because... The world that they live in, it's made for people. You can tell that all the things that go on there are people things. There's like doors and buildings and stuff like that. Where did they all come from and why are they there? There's cars and that's all that live here. There should be people in that movie, but there aren't. I can understand. See, I thought that was pretty clever, the way they did that. Yeah. And how like the mountain looked like a car and... Like if you see the sequel, oh, you haven't, but like the <laughs> Eiffel Tower is completely made up of like pieces of cars and radiator bits and stuff yeah. like that, you know? Well, yeah, I mean, there's good stuff to it, but yeah, it just seems like there should be people in that world and it could have been, uh, it would have been more difficult to do though, definitely. But uh, anyways, that's, well, see, if it, I was trying to think of the best animated feature so far this year and I didn't make it there. Sorry, go ahead. If, if there had been people in the Cars universe... Then the movie would have focused completely on them, even though the movie was called Cars. <laughs> and they'd be having all these battles with the Decepticons, and yet we'd still be focusing on all the human characters in the foreground. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I guess. The best animated film I saw so far this year was Green Lantern. Ah, see what you did there? <laughs> all right, folks. Thank you for joining us. All right. See you later, folks. Bye. <laughs> You know what gets my goat? That this show is produced under your Creative Commons 3.0 license. Why would you bother? Anyhow. Like, how dare you? <laughs> like, uh. I've got a Ben Folds cover. Yeah, the of Ben that, Folds And it actually that. sounds like a song. Bitches can't hang with the streets. Wait, keep, keep it up and I'll, I'll turn that into a Alvin and the Chipmunks. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know it well enough to be able to keep it up, I'm afraid. Mm.